Hello and welcome back to FT Business School. The topic of big data is one of the most fashionable around these days and it seems business schools can't get enough of it. But do data analytics really belong in a business school or should they be confined to schools of engineering or IT? Andrew Ainsley is Dean of the Simon School at the University of Rochester in the US. Professor Ainsley, I mean, is there a case for teaching data analytics in a business school? Well, we certainly think so. Um, I think if you go back to the last 45 years of the Simon School, we've really all been about economics the entire time that the uh, business school has been there. And economics itself has had a shift over the last 15 or 20 years to really, really believing that any theory that you have has to be tested against the data. So um, what we think of as empirical economics has just exploded. So uh, let me also turn to one of my favorite corporate examples of a company that certainly believes that business schools have a place in data analytics, and that's Google. So there are really, if you think about it, and I'm really massively generalizing here, if you really think about it, Google has two sides to its business. One is its search engine, and that's the engineering school. They have very clever algorithms that very rapidly find you relevant data, and uh, business schools are never going to be in that sort of a field. But the second side is the pricing of their, uh, of their auctions of the uh, stuff on the side of the search engine where companies then advertise their products. Those mechanisms are entirely written by statisticians and uh, economists, and that's very much the sort of field that business schools are actively involved in. Right, now you yourself, you're a marketing professor, aren't you? I yeah. Mean, I mean, is business analytics, data analytics, this important to the marketing field? Well, well, that's what got me into the industry. Um, when I was doing my uh, small paper that I had to do at the end of my MBA program at the University of Cape Town, what really got me excited was the fairly new area of direct marketing. And direct marketing was an early application of analytics to a marketing problem, trying to find the best customers by using information about your customers in your, uh, in your data set that you had. And that was largely transactional data that you had on customers. What did they bought in the past? And what does that tell you about what they'll buy in the future? And those were some of the early predictive models that we started bu building that were pure analytics. And it's funny in that analytics sort of rises and falls. So during the run-up, not long after I got my PhD, to the sort of a meltdown in uh, the early 2000s of the dot-com bubble, uh, analytics was huge. And everybody wanted analytics classes. And then from 03 to about 07 or 08, it went a little quiet again. And now, thank goodness, we're back in fashion. So, so, so who is pushing um, this? Is it the students? Because it sounds like a very complex and very hard subject to me. So is it the students that want this or is it the companies? Well, you know, if the companies want it, then guess what? The students want it. Mm -hmm. It's market driven, but the students have absolutely taken notice of that. So they're responding by making sure that they have those skill sets. So ultimately, ultimately it's the market. And ultimately it's the market that should drive demand for the set of skills we give our students. Right. So, so what kind of jobs are available for, for people? Are they, are they in um, general marketing? Are they in um, consultants are they in finance are they in specifically in data analytics well my answer might be yes but okay. let me be a little more specific because it's in all of those yeah um, an area that we've really been able to specialize in and uh, and make something out of is pricing now pricing has been around forever it really is understanding supply and demand and what the uh, unique benefit is of your product to customers but uh, we've really developed a strength in that area and uh, so that's one area where analytics gets used a lot. There's a broader marketing analytics. So these days, you can't really be a brand manager unless you're also able to look into the data and try to work out what's driving demand and what's driving fluctuations in demand and how that affects your pricing and how that affects your promotional strategy. So it's very strong there. So, so this is... Every single area. So this is... Um, um, so analytics is strong in... MBAs as well as in specialized master's degrees? Yes, actually. So that's also true. So we also have a specialized master's in data analytics, business data analytics, and that's really beginning to take off. Um, but in, I think it's very hard now for an MBA to uh, be purely what we used to call po poets, mm -hmm. a pure poet type that only understands branding or only understands HR. Uh, the world is no longer that type of world. Everybody has to understand a little bit about analytics because everybody is doing some analysis of the business trends that they're looking at. Professor Ainsley, thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. For more on this subject and other business school news and analysis, go to ft.com forward slash business education.